Welcome. This video provides an overview of the Pinbach mind map. This is Jim Franklin of PM Mapping. The benefit of the Pinbach mind maps is that it provides an excellent summary of the process groups, the knowledge areas, and the outputs. You'll be able to review these mind maps and quickly understand the relationships. The mind maps also include links to the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs for each process. You'll be able to view these also on your phone almost as a flashcard approach. I've included the Pinbach mind maps in the audio presentation files. You'll be able to download these files and open them with the mind mapping software. Let's now view the project planning map. This map was prepared specifically for this course, and this includes all 10 knowledge areas. You can see that the second level of this map includes the integration management, scope, schedule, cost, quality, human resources, communications, risk, procurement, and stakeholder management. I'd like to focus just on scope and give you some examples of how I'm using this mind map to present the content in this class. I'll also demonstrate the features of the mind mapping software as I demo the scope management process. I've expanded scope and you can see there are a total of four processes, plan scope management, collect requirements, define scope, and create WBS. If I expand the create WBS, you can see one of the key outputs is the scope baseline. And remember the scope baseline includes the scope statement, the work breakdown structure, and also the WBS dictionary. One of the features of the mind mapping software is I can apply a branch focus. And this is really a great feature. And this is the screenshots that you'll see in the PowerPoint presentations in this course. In the mind mapping software, you have the option of viewing in the mind map view, as you can see in this screen, or you can view an outline. And the outline is a traditional linear approach. You can see that I can easily collapse and expand. Personally, I like the mind mapping view. It's just more graphical, it's easier to view, and then easier to remember the content. The next feature I'd like to present is how I've linked to a Google slide on my Google Drive. This paperclip, as you can see, represents a link. If I click on this link, it's going to open the Google slide. This slide shows the inputs, tools and techniques, and the outputs for Create WBS. The planning mind map is included as screenshots in the PowerPoint presentations. You can download this mind map and view it and click on the links and get the information on the inputs, tools and techniques and outputs for each process. It's just a fantastic tool in being able to review information quickly and drive down into details as you need to review those details. There's also three other mind maps that you can download that are providing the same information but in a different twist. So the first one being the Pinbach mind map this is organized similar to the planning map. You can see under planning, there's integration management, scope management, time management. If I click on scope management, you can see the four processes. This map also includes the processes for all of the process groups, initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and control, and closing. The next mind map is the Pinbach test map. This is a great map if you're in the process of preparing for the Pinbach exam. Print this map out, make five or six copies. Once you've reviewed the previous map that I showed, go ahead and fill in the blanks. And you'll notice that it won't take you very long to be able to quickly fill in the blanks and you understand the relationships between the process groups, the knowledge areas, and the processes. Try it, it's gonna help you pass the test. The next mind map is the pin box summary map. So it's still going to show all of the processes for the five process groups. However, I've organized the mind map a little bit differently. In this case, at the third level, I'm showing the process and I've grouped processes based on where it makes sense. For example, develop project management plan. 
if I expand this topic, you can see that I've included the project management plan, but I've also included the plan scope management process, and the output is going to be the scope management plan. Remember in Project Management Essentials, in the Project Management Plan, you would include as attachments the scope management plan, the time management plan, etc. Well, these are the four mind maps that you can download in this class. They're great tools. You can use these in the future as reference points or when you go to study for the PMP exam. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Send me an email if you have questions. Let me know if you have trouble downloading the Pinbach mind maps. Thank you again. Have a great day.